Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 23 of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And here is where we're going to close out the season, or getting close to it anyway. Uh, some important games, more than anything, to keep our form going. With this new tactic I showed you in the previous episode of the youth intake, went through it a little bit. Uh, we have improved, definitely. Uh, that needed, we needed a drastic change, so I did have to think about it for a while. And it's gone well so far. And the thing is, the tactic is not even, well, it is close, okay? It is close to being fluid. Uh, this is actually the away tactic, and this is what I wanted as well. Uh, look, we're playing a away game here against Hamel Hempstead, which is a really <laughs> weird name for a team. Uh, but you get the yeah, get that at this lower level, some different kind of team names. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to use that. I want to see how it goes, see how we do. I haven't actually used that from the start of a game yet, so it'll be very interesting. I've been going with the attacking one, uh, but playing on away now because we are actually playing away, and Noah Keats, see, this is what you get with a formation change, you can bring in players that weren't starting before, Noah Keats, so you could almost play as a center attacking midfielder, so he's definitely probably one of the better options for playing a false nine, he's got a good teamwork as well that helps that attribute, or that role, it's good, if you see here false nine, all these attributes that are important, obviously not too many standout attributes, but don't forget, He's only 23. He can improve as well. Got four-star potential. And one thing for sure next season, I need to get a coach or even assistant manager with high judging ability and potential because right now I'm just in the lurch because they're poor. It's poor judgments. <laughs> so I, all I have to do is yeah, my own personal judging off their attributes and how they play in game. But anyway, we shall move on and we are giving a starting debut to our star player coming through the Youth Academy this season, Lee Palmer. According to our judgment of Jim Rollo, uh, he's only seven-star judging ability and potential, but for the potential, it says good Skybet League 2, attacking midfielder. So he could be a star for this level and the league above in the conference. He's a guy that's going to take us to the next level and hopefully some other players we do sign, hopefully some other younger guys uh, in the off-season. Uh, we'll see how that goes anyway. But yeah, this is a team we're going to go in with. And this is the first game you're going to show. And this is one of those tactics. You know when you just create that tactic and everything goes smoothly? And just the how you how your team is playing and everything, it looks good. It, it feels like a good tactic. With my previous formation and tactic, I felt, yeah, we were getting results at the start of the season. But when things were dropping off, like, I felt like it wasn't a good tactic. Even in some games when we were winning. Like if we're just yeah, scraping across the line or something. And also, if we go show positions, uh, this is the default opposition instructions we have just for the midfielders and for the strikers so you can see that there and hopefully um yeah that will be all right just been rolling with that with these games as well and that's it seemed to work well but i'm really excited when i play a game like this and also ross stern he's been playing as a striker of course because we don't play with winger in this formation now uh, he scored a hat-trick in the previous game and scored two goals in the game before that. So five goals in the last two games. Obviously, this kind of role is getting the best out of Ross Stern. And he's got four-star potential as well. He's only got room to improve for Ross Stern. That is, and he said it can, can improve significantly in the future. Like Ross Stern, after the last two years, like since FM14, he's one of my favorite players in this Bar City save. He scores some amazing goals. That dribbling of 14 is amazing for this level. You play him on that right side, he's preferred. And yeah, the, pay, the pace of JPS as well, it's insane and we're playing well. You see, Ross Stern, I don't even think he's been that good this season. Last couple games, he's bumped up his stats, like the goals and assists, but he hasn't been a superstar. Maybe last couple games he has and we've found, yeah, good tactic to suit him. And other players, of course, as well. Frankie Artis come more center midfield role now, but I'm really excited to see Lee Palmer. He's going to be just one of the best players of this, I'll say of this series, but for, there's going to be certain parts. There's going to be best players up until maybe League 1, League 2 level, and then you've got to bring in other guys who's going to be legends with the push to the championship and Premier League level. There's going to be like two, yeah, two sets of legends. Guys that are going to be good now, but they're probably not going to be good for championship Premier League level. But yeah, I'm sure you know what I mean with that. <laughs> so that's the thing about this save. Like, Ideally, if you have a guy who dominates, like you want to see him in the Premier League level, but you've got to be realistic as well. They're probably not going to be good enough if they're only like League 2, League 1 level. So it'll be very interesting to see, what would you want me to keep those kind of legends at the club? That yeah, if, Or if they become legends, a guy like Lee Palmer has everything set to become that, his potential and ability, and we score already. This is what I mean. Of course, we were scoring early already, 
um, in other saves. Sorry, I'll push this thing back a little bit. We've got more options there, if you can see. We've got, like, um, half chances, long shots. I put offsides on, um, more passes in defense, midfield, and attack. So you watching it, and me as well, judging how we're playing, you see Ross Stern got the assist as well. He prefers, because he can play right midfield, of course, and runs down the right, probably play on the right striking position. Samuels almost scores again. Uh, but yeah, we, you can get more of a judgment how the passes are going if you put defense, midfield, and attack there, and also yeah, half chances and long shots to see how we're playing. But again, it's a very nice start, because we're playing away, and we scored, this is, this is perfect. We scored right away, away from home. So with this form, if we can keep it up till the end of the season... We're going to stand a real chance. Like, I, you know how I was saying in previous episodes how if we made the playoffs, I'd had faith in my players' ability to make it, uh, to win, but then it dropped off slowly with the tactic we were using. We, I tried to keep with it, but yeah, I guess I'm not sure why it dropped off. It started amazing. Maybe recent updates in the game, uh, updates to the match engine, maybe that would have affected it. Not really sure, but now how we're playing last few games, yeah, I am back to that faith again. I'm back on that faith that we can get promoted uh, from the playoffs. But here, we've got to defend this. Ooh, close chance. Again, we'll push this a little bit more back. Here we go. Okay, that's half time. So again, uh, we shall say assertively and guard against complacency. But again, just to play, it's more confident from me. Like, we're not just giving away stupid chances or anything like that. We're playing more better as a unit, really, uh, on our mentality or team shape here. We're playing on flexible. Uh, for away, but here, Dan Ball gets injured. That's what I didn't want, because we don't have a left back here. Or Gallinar can play there, though. We'll bring on Jim Rollo. What? I didn't do that. Jim Rollo to come on for Dan Ball. Then can switch Gallinar over there. So Because Gallinar can play there. He had to deputize, so he can play there. Is he still training that position? Yeah, he is. Because we need... Like, see, in this situation, Dan Ball gets injured. Uh, we need a guy to come in, and he's the one. Because, yeah, the situation we had Dan Ball... And oh, I can't remember his name because he hasn't played for me for quite some time now. He's slowly coming back. Where well, I have to go to squad. Um, yeah, Slocum. He's been injured and he's slowly, he's coming back. So, yeah, he's going to be important. He may need to play. He needs to play in the next game if Dan Ball has a permanent injury. Which is it's disappointing because Dan Ball is an amazing player for us. He's been consistent for the whole season. And I've always, yeah, liked him as a player in these last couple of years. Yeah, like, he's one of them. Like, Ross Stern, Dan Ball, since FM14, they've kind of be, yeah, really cult heroes of this save. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? We probably need another goal. Simpson to Artis. Finds Keats. They intercept and defended that well. But you can see here, they've had zero shots on target, and they're playing at home. Uh, only one click at chance. But, yeah, we are... Getting the job done defensively. I did want to create a tactic that would be uh, very dangerous in attack, but also responsibly defensively, uh, or responsible defensively, especially in a certain away tactic as well, uh, that we can change to when we're playing away. Because people call for that as well, and Locke makes a good save. And he just feels more comfortable. I don't know why. It shouldn't make a difference with your tactic, but I don't know. He just seems like the goalkeeper I thought he was when I signed him now. He just... Really strong in the goalkeeping position. Obviously, defenders help with that as well. Lee Palmer not having the best of debuts, but I'm going to leave him on. Uh, Frankie Artis will take him off. And we'll bring on Jonathan Hunt. And yeah, we'll just do those two subs for now. Well, we already did one. Uh, the forced injury from Dan Ball. And look happy. And of course, it motivates me more to record every single game live to keep with it. If we're doing well, that is a big thing. Here we go. Keats. Oh, JPS. And I wanted to show you how we were playing as well. We were playing really amazing. So that's a big reason. Go and win this. Well done, Palmer. I'm not sure if he won the header, but it's good. Good pressure either way. Walden is on. Oh, good defending. We've got to be careful. It's only 1-0 to us. And Simpson just launched that forward. Could be Dane. Come on, show us what happened there. If that was our highlight, like our goalkeeper dealing with it, oh, I imagine he would have stuffed it up completely. <laughs> like get an own goal or something, who knows. We'll just give it away. But anyway, we need to still be on the lookout for a second. JPS with his pace. JPS, Stern, finish it! Oh, that would have been in the back of the net, but number five for them, whoever that is. Who is it? Connolly. Lucky he got in the way for them. He has short corner. Stern, finish it! <laughs> Come on. That's what we're looking for. Jim Rollo, well done. The experience has showed and he scored. 
to. And you know, in recent times, I've changed the short quarter settings, the short corner settings. See Ross Stone there by himself, had the space to cross it in. And yeah, I've actually scored a few goals like that so far. So utilizing that pretty well, that option, it seems to be working for us. And can we do it again? See, that's the direction every single time. And that time uh, we get the shot on target. So another opportunity. Oh my God, JPS. <laughs> oh, that's not the set play. The set play is not to go back to him. And that's why you stuffed it up. So we're going to bring on David Pratt. You know, he can score goals. He's got the instinct. So we shall bring... Oh, Noah Keats. Has, it's hard to find. Yeah, Chas Hemmings have to. He's the other guy we're teaching to play false nine. We've got Because he's taller. But we don't have like a natural false nine player. So, in that role. So, we're probably in the offseason, we might look for someone. Uh, we'll see. But look at this. We've had seven clear-cut chances. It looks like, I don't know. I'm not going to say, and this is not just one game. People could say, oh, this is just maybe lucky in one game. But it's not. It's like the past four games now since I've changed tactic. And we're going well. JPS, Hemmings. Here he goes. Finds Galinar getting forward. JPS to Hemmings. Oh, that was another clicker chance. We've got eight here. Hunt, back to English. This is good stuff. And this is like, it may not be the best way to play for a lower league level, like try and keep possession. We'll see what happens here. Though, Hemmings could have been another. We're getting a lot of chances from there. We can't, like, not quite finishing them. But, yeah, like I said, I want to mold this way that we're going to play going forward from here. So, slowly, slowly, we're going to get better quality players in, technically, like, uh, region player, what's his name? Wait, hopefully we don't concede. No, uh, oh, that's a look at this guy's here. What the hell, Simon Talbot? Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, not a bad region. So they've got a region in, but a lot of low attributes. But he was by himself. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I didn't. I forgot we got another goal there. So luckily, yeah, it's still two one. We're still in the lead, and that's a common thing. And Walden head is it? Isn't that the guy from Two and a Half Men? But anyway. Move on, skip that. Hopefully, you can hold on. So, what we will do is go assertively and say, tighten up. And also, right away, we'll go contain. That's all we need to do from here, just defend. Maybe we could finish it again. Could we finally finish one? Hemmings, Palmer. Oh, I would love to him to score on his debut. He got in the position, though. We still might have a chance. Hunt, back to Rolo, to English. Palmer finds JPS. JPS, and that was the highlight, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, but yeah, you can see we definitely did dominate this game without dominating possession. We just look very dangerous. Uh, they had three shots on target, so goalkeeper still had to do uh, his job, of course. And again, does it there. But we had 10 clear-cut chances. Probably deserved a few more goals with that. But again, we're still learning this new way of playing. And I'm learning players that are going to fit this way as well. So that should be it. Three minutes of injury time played. And yes, 2-1. It's a nice time. It's a nice time to hit this form as well, isn't it? How did Lee Palmer play? Okay, he improved. He had 6.4 before. Now he's improved 6.8. So he improved as the game went on. Of course, you can't expect him to be the best player on the pitch in the first game. But that was, again, another dominating performance. And I just want to make sure we're in playoffs. And that's, yeah, that's probably being realistic. We are probably going to make it now. I don't really care if we finish second, third, fourth, or fifth. Uh, we just got to be there, and I reckon uh, we can get that. And also, just a little update as well. There's two players I've let go of. Not sure if I've showed you yet, but also, yeah, Brandon Dujon is gone because he doesn't yeah, suit this formation, and he was never amazing when he did play for me. He just got three assists for the whole season. So he did contribute to a few goals, but he never actually scored one, but doesn't suit this formation, so I let him go. And also, Ashley Kington, he just got, yeah, too disappointed with not playing. Actually, I, I plan to f use him in this formation. I thought he could have been... Uh, one of our better players because of his first touch passing will be, yeah, one of the better technical players in our team. But, yeah, he wanted to leave and now he's just not playing for a team and no one wants him. So, <laughs> who knows what he's going to do. But we're just going to move on from that. That's why I have the available wage budget. I wanted that as well. So, when the season finishes, I can sign some players on a free transfer, look at my options and all that kind of stuff. And now, after playing a few games, Noah Keats, exactly what I wanted from him as well. Yeah, he's happy to stay because we found a position for him. He's got potential, uh, probably our best player uh, to play false nine because that, yeah, he's almost an attacking midfielder. We don't have any others that can play that kind of, yeah, other strikers, that kind of position. Like nine passing, eight technique. 
He got nine long shots as well, finishing nine, dribbling uh, is eight. So he's got some decent attributes, a bit of flair as well, decent natural fitness. I'm trying to find yeah, uh, relative attributes to that role. But yeah, um, he's going to be good for us unless we can find someone better in that role in the off season. So here we are for the next game in the league against Concord Rangers. They're sitting about mid-table, can't really move anywhere. They're probably not going to get promotion or yeah, get in the playoff places. And yeah, they're not going to get relegated either. So it may not be a interesting match for them. It will be interesting to see actually how much they're going to put effort-wise. You don't really know. But anyway, I don't really need changes because we only got league games left to play and there's like a week break between each game so we don't really need to rest players are going to come back fit all that kind of stuff uh keep the general uh, same lineup apart from noah keats you know i was talking about him a lot but he actually didn't play well in the previous game so i'm going to keep rotating with him and chas hemmings chas hemmings has actually been really good in these recent games well in the first few i think when i initially changed the tactic he scored two goals and then he got one so and then yeah we kind of rested him a little bit and he's just becoming off the bench so uh, we're going to bring him back into the first team because he's more of a stronger. I'm not sure if he will be a good false nine because of his strength. He'll be able to maybe hold players off or something like that. Uh, we're going to find out because, yeah, his passing is just average, but got good teamwork, which is a good attribute for false nine. So either way, we're going to find it out. But I still think we need to, uh, yeah, we need to sign in the preseason or when the season finishes going to next season, we need to sign an expert guy in that role. And we don't have that right now just to yeah, improve the way we're playing even more so. Favourites to win this game at home as expected. Show positions again, just the same setup that has been working for me. And yes, could be a battle in between Ross Stern and JPS. Well, yeah, I was going to say to score the most goals this season, but obviously, yeah, David Pratt, he's, he's dropped off though, David Pratt. And he's not on form. Our other strikers are. Ross Stern and JPS are finding the back of the net. So we're going to roll with them and those guys have potential. So... Uh, what are we going to do here? Aggressively? Mm. Assertively? Yeah, let's do it for the fans. I like to do that at home because, yeah, it's a home game for the fans. Uh, makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> but, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. See, that's the only thing about having multiple tactics. I'm not really used to yeah, analyzing who we're playing and we're playing away or whatever, so not used to changing it, but easy, yeah, easily done there. Changes up a little bit. You see Palmer... It says, yeah, he's accomplishing that role. It just says he's a fairly good rating for the youth team. But again, that's poor judgment. He's one of our better midfielders because of his, yeah, passing ability and his potential. I'm not sure if this is a thing. Leave your thoughts on it. So I'll just pause it, yeah, pause it here to talk about it. Do you think a player with high potential plays above their current ability because of the potential they have? Like, if they, if you have a more experienced player with the same attributes, like exactly the same attributes, but you have this younger guy with the same attributes, but he's got high potential. Do you think he plays a bit better? Sometimes he may just show his potential in games and play a bit better than his attributes suggest. I believe that anyway. I'm not sure what you think, if it's an official thing, but that's what I like to believe. Come on, Palmer. He finds JPS. Almost wins it back. Artis, JPS, finds Stern. Stern. Oh! This guy is amazing, Ross Stern. When you find that role for him around the goals, and I want to play him here as well. Of course, his natural position is as a right midfielder. But even when I've played him there, he scored a decent amount of goals. He's got an eye for goal. Especially, at least at this level. He's just, his shots are pretty good. He's got the movement around the box because of his dribbling ability, 14. Okay, defend this. Defend it. Ah... See that defending like with set pieces as well. And again, of course, a player scores a goal and it's his first goal of the season and it's late in the season. Uh, always against us. Always against us. But yeah, he smashed that. Disappointed to concede that. That was their first shot on target for the game. Hard to take that. Especially at home. So I didn't want to go defensive yet. Oh, they put it in. Almost lucky. I'm not sure how many more games I have to win for sure to make it, but yeah, we're pretty yeah we're pretty clear I think in the playoffs. And Simpson gets forward and gets it. That's that's something I've noticed. Something I wanted uh, having a well a certain play in this case it's the right back uh, getting in for the throw-ins. Uh, we, we have the throw-ins on mix. It's not short throw-ins or long. It's just mix to change it up each time. But that's a bit lucky there. That is a bit lucky. <laughs> Either way, I'll take it. It's two one. 
And we've got two goals here, of course. It's a good start. A good start to the game. I want. I need to keep this form up until the playoffs and continue it there, of course. And if we do, yeah, get promoted, we're going to have to, yeah, sign some quality players to compete in the conference, Vanarama Conference. Here we go, Stern, play it through. Hemmings. Oh, come on, you got to finish that. Even though we are winning games, players, like every single game I play, I need my players to prove to me that they can be part of the future, especially when you're looking to get promoted and that you need to be playing well. So say assertively, probably what we need right now, don't you think? Just like, say don't get complacent. Uh, but again, some bad reactions. Dan Ball, he escaped that injury, luckily. I'm just saying I'm not happy with his performance. See, what's the difference? That should be a worse reaction, don't you think? I just said, don't think the job is done. Like, don't get complacent. And then I just said he did crap, basically. And then he got motivated by that. So he might do it again here. So I'm not happy with your performance. Okay, he's motivated. I don't know, like, how do they get a motivating... Not Yeah, how do they get stressed from that? And, yeah, how do they not get stressed when I told them they played crap? It makes no sense. Oh... It's a bit weird. Like, I told them something worse, and they got a better reaction from it. I see it as worse anyway. Like, don't get complacent is a better team talk than saying you did crap. So, so yeah, that's so weird for me. But, anyway, don't worry about that. We'll move on. Oh, well done, English. He's an amazing anchor man because his tackling ability and his strength is amazing. Oh, poor choice there to pass. Straight at Corley. Now, Stokes could be through, but Gallinard deals with it. Uh, probably been our best defender, just all round, for the whole season. Gallina been really good. He scored a few as well. Ross Stern's on again. Look at that. And then Cooley finds Artis, and Artis smashed it. He scored a few good goals this season as well. Eighth goal of the season for Frankie. It's 3-1 now. This should, yeah, give us a good chance to take three points home. Oh, yeah, we are at home. But, yeah, Roston, see, just Cooley there. His dribbling is just... Un it's too good. It's too good for this level 14. And then the finish from Artis. Maybe to kill off this game. Because, obviously, they're going to have to push more forward, Concord Rangers. And, yeah, I'm not sure if they can. Or well, they could, and then we might score again. They'll leave themselves open. Uh, anyone else low condition, Dan Ball. We'll go for the same move again. We'll bring on Jim Rollo. Then we'll switch it up with Galena. Anyone else that needs to come off? Any low conditions? I don't know. Only, yeah, Chas Hemming. So we're still searching for that false nine. Maybe David Pratt will give him a go there, see how he goes. I'm not sure if he's too amazing there, though. But you've got to try something. We've got to try something to find the perfect player for that position, which I don't believe we have right now. So either way, even if he has a good game, if he scores, he comes on and scores. I still think we need a player that's perfect in that position, like I've been saying. So again, I just gotta make sure the lineup. Yeah, we can still make one more sub. We'll or we'll take off Lee Palmer now. He hasn't been too amazing in his first games, but it's good to introduce him in that way. Just let him play some games and all that, because uh, no doubt he's gonna be part of the future. Like I want him to be ready next season, whether it be like this level if we don't get promoted or Vanarama Conference. I want him to be one of the first teamers, because he has got the quality and potential. But yes, uh, this looks to be another win and successful episode. See, the change worked. Here, we're looking to get two wins in a row, and I've done it already uh, with this new tactic. But previously, I wasn't getting that done. I was like, yeah, one win, one loss. One win, one loss. Blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> you know how it goes. Very disappointing, those results. Even though we are only a mid-table team, so we were on that mid-table form. But things have to be changed sometimes. Um, as I've been saying, and yeah, this is going to be 3-1, a uh, very positive end to this, and yeah, you'll start noticing now more episodes being uploaded, recording this in bulk, because I thought if I'm going to record every single game, I should upload a lot, so you'll see that over the course, Manchester United as well, FIFA career mode will be uploaded, of course, three series running, think perfect for this channel. And yeah, I'm very pleased with that as we go towards the end of this episode. We move up into third now, but of course, Sutton have two games in hand. We actually have one more game to play against them. So it's still realistic to maybe even finish second uh, this season. That would be a great finish, but it doesn't matter if we finish second. We still have to yeah, uh, win in the playoffs. We'll see how all of that goes down.
So that's it for this episode. To round off, we have won three games in a row now with this new tactic, actually. We have been six games unbeaten with five wins. Uh, major change. And yeah, exactly. I want to finish this kind of form uh, for the whole season. Could we still pro- get automatic promotion? How is Boreham Wood looking? It's still possible, isn't it? It's still possible if they lose a few games, but I'm not going to be expecting that because then I'll just get disappointed if I don't. I just want to keep this form going, make sure going into the playoffs we're uh, winning games so we are in form. Uh, so, it, yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully enjoyed the episode. What do you think of the new tactic, the look of it, but also having three different uh, formations, uh, having one for attack, which is basically home games, defend like around the 60th minute when we're winning, and then away. Uh, for starting for away games, of course, or just in general, maybe a hard game, I might start that way. Either way, uh, leave your thoughts on the performances and all of that, and I shall see you guys next time.